Edgar? Just behind you! for the hand but I had it under control you can tell I found the plan the locals call it La Orquia de la Vida or something foreign like that we get this back to Calico squeeze it out and maybe we have ourselves a way to turn this around I'm sorry I got you into this yeah. getting your ass out of the fire has kind of become a habit Edgar you can't keep doing this forever when those ticks attack the matter what did your father do? Run? Nah. He kept on squeezing the trigger. That's what he did. People like us don't retire, Jesse. Even if you're lucky enough to live long enough, you'll soon realize there's nothing waiting for you. There is no normal for people like me or your father. And I was uh, naive to think there might be some normal for you. Anyway. Now that just about everyone else in the Institute is dead, I figure you and your daddy are gonna need all the help you can get to build things back up again. Well, first you give me those pretty flowers, then you get all emotional on me. Edgar, you ain't gonna try to kiss me now, are you? You little shit. <laughs> Blackwell, I know we've had our differences, but this... For your information, I had nothing to do with Mr. Harrow's sudden appearance on our doorstep. But thank you for confirming how little faith you have in me. Now, I don't presume to know how things work for you, gentlemen. But I can assure you that Calico wasn't built on broken words and betrayed confidences. Women in my position don't have that privilege. Now, I assume you have the plant? We do. Good. And there are clean syringes and alcohol swabs in the lab. Five minutes is all we need. 